Yo, little update on my uh, stuck head stud in the TW200. Uh, I got a bunch of responses on that photo. I didn't really expect, but uh, yeah. So overwhelmingly everyone said weld a nut to it, which was my first plan. And uh, just kind of going through for my friends who aren't really into fixing stuff or whatever. Um, I kind of wanted to go through like how, you know, how do you weld, you know, a nut to that? You know, it's not like you could tell, you know, somebody who hasn't done it before. Not that I'm an expert, but, uh, you know, just kind of how, uh, how you go about doing that. And like, just, I mean, it's a little bit of pain, you know, uh, yeah, I have to have the equipment right and everything, you know, there's, you know, just going through here, uh, the helmet, you know, you got a welding helmet. So like, I, I don't, you, I'm assuming you keep like the weld away from you. Uh, you got the little hat, you know, so you don't get weld in your hair, I'm, I think. And then gloves, gloves too, you know, big thick gloves. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I think it kind of makes it a pain in the butt, but you know, it's stuff they all say you need. So, um, what I like to do is I like to weld like a little bit. If I've got some pieces of like similar metal, weld that first, you know, to get it kind of your setup right or whatever. So, I mean, yeah, this is not necessarily a standard practice and like, yeah, what kind of, what kind of process you're doing, whatever, but this is just, you know, what I think will work for this application. So, um, yeah, I'll run through it a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, I'll just, you know, put the, put the helmet on. Oh, no, first, first I got to put the, uh, the little hat to, you know, prevent it from getting my hair and stuff. And the gloves, you know, here first. And, you know, I just picked this scrap piece of metal up you know just sitting in the garage here but i mean i think these these gloves are kind of a pain in the butt for welding but i mean we'll see if i can do it and then i've got you know my, my welder set up here you know see if i can lay a few good beads down see this is what i mean like you can't <sighs> all right see and this is uh this is a you know some people have like a lincoln or whatever this is a uh jb welder quick weld so like uh it's uh it sets up in six minutes i think the other uh other kind of welding sets up a little like quicker than that and this is the dark gray i think the dark gray is a stronger version of that um of the of the regular weld you know i don't know if you can like if you get something welded someplace can you tell them you want dark gray or like maybe you can ask for like a shiny metal oh these gloves a little bit so anyways, yeah, so we'll just, uh, you know, put some, man, these gloves are real pain. I kind of don't really understand why you need them for this, but, uh, we'll give it a shot. So that'll, that'll be enough to do a good little test weld here. I'm going to, I'm going to cheat. And, you know, I, even though I got the welder on, I don't think there's a, there's chance for, uh, <laughs> some damage there. So here we'll put this back on and then, uh. Yeah, I don't know. You don't really hear welders talking about mixing, you know, but, you know, this is kind of like, I just do, you know, like this, you know, mix it up. And then I think what you're looking for, you want the dark gray consistency kind of on the package. You know, it's, it seems to be a pretty good, pretty easy way to do things here. So man, th these gloves are really cumbersome for this, you know, just kind of showing you, you want to make sure this is all mixed in so that, uh, it's dark gray. I, I, maybe they'll provide like a color sheet or, you know, like a, a scale sometime, but you see that got this dark gray and I don't, I have, I've got the, I've got the helmet on now. I can kind of show you guys like you don't need to have, I think it'd be impossible to have the helmet on and, uh, and be welding, you know, I mean, we're not welding, we're just setting up, you know, but I've got the little shield kind of flipped up. I'll show you. See, I've got, I can look like this, you know, through and then flip down when I do the welding, even though it's kind of a pain. But all right, all right. Oh, and we got to make sure that's not setting up yet either. Yeah, let's uh, get this helmet back on. All right, all right. 
ready to throw some some sweet beads down you know so like maybe we can get closer even to a... yeah and I can I mean all right yeah now I'm welding I gotta put the glove back on you know I think you want to do like oh a good man it's hard to see you know like a good bead sweep kind of back and forth you know with your weld and then uh i don't know i mean we can take a i mean after we wait six minutes you know kind of checking how it is so and then you, uh some guy always told me like you want to leave the your like welder on it after you finish welding till i don't know he said to protect it or something i don't know if this is really so i've got a little bit more weld here as you can see so i'm gonna just you know maybe do another little practice bead here oh yeah yeah let me see maybe i can do this yeah scrape the weld up man uh, you know it'd probably be better if i could see through this helmet a little bit more but there we go we'll do this and some people are probably gonna ask all right, then we can let that set up. All right, hold on, let me take this, uh, take these gloves off and the helmet. So yeah, that's kind of that's kind of welding a little bit, you know, just a tutorial for people. Um, yeah, and you know, yeah, I'm, I'm guessing you wouldn't want to get that in your hair. Like it, you probably couldn't shampoo that stuff out pretty easy. So yeah, if uh, if anybody needs help with anything or like has more questions, I can uh, give you a chance. Give you a hand. Thanks.